Hey, what's going on guys? Gotta make a shop video today. Uh, I got one right here. Uh, check engine light on a 04 F550 with 261,000 miles. So, got the IDS up. Let's see if I get this glare out of the way. There you go. So we got a VSS code, 500. Number two, glow plug, number four. Uh, ICP sensor low and intermittent so I haven't even opened the hood I'm thinking two bag uh, glow plugs and a maybe possible bag connector to the ICP or the ICP itself uh, either way I usually replace both um, the guys just complain about check engine light so another way I could check too is that a logger there which gives me all the pids or this allows me to see what the PCM is looking at so all right clear them all ICP ICP voltage uh, nothing with glow plugs so ICP at 0 PSI there you go and voltage is at 0.24 seems to be working all right but I notice usually when when it starts to chop like that pretty pretty well uh, usually something that, uh, like the connector itself or or uh, the sensor itself is starting to starting to go out <clears throat> it's, it's fluctuating pretty good so I would probably recommend both sensor and the connector but we're gonna go check that out so all right let's see it's a beautiful day today it's about 60 degree no about 75. Close to 80. I'm sure you guys like the weather reports, huh? <laughs> Especially out here in Southern California. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, like maybe a coin leak, huh? There's the ICP sensor. I can perform a wiggle test and uh, see what we got going on, but let's just take a look at it real quick. And also I wanna get my multimeter. Let's see if we can find it. I gotta walk in the shop, go, go get it. I had it this morning. with it. Maybe I should check my drawers if I went over here. Oh, this sucks. I don't know where I left it at. Ah, there it is. I was leaking coolant at one time. I wonder if the radiator is leaking. No. Unless it blew off a hose and no one washed, bothered washing it down or something. Alright, well. Aha. Look at that. Some green shit on it. There it is. There's my problem. So they probably fixed the coolant leak. Didn't wash it down, and it corroded connector. So. 
I want to recommend both. It looks like the it's the original original connector and sensor. All right, now we had glow plugs two and four. So this is odd. This side is odd. And this side is even. Even Steven. You want to take off the connector. Do our own test. There's the camera. There it is. So we're going to check resistance on each one to ground. I'm sure you're going to use this. I hope. I'm trying to do everything one handed. I'm gonna have the negative lead to the negative side, negative side of the battery. And then the positive lead to the glow plug harness. So each one, I don't know which one is in particular order. That one has nothing. So yellow had uh, OL million ohms. The red one has 25.2. Point seven on the white white one. Point six on the blue. Well, on the on the yellow and 25 ohms on the red. It's an OL on that. So I got the red one. Twenty-five ohms. So it's gonna need. I'm sure those two are. Is it a two and four? So I'm assuming this is two. Red is four. White is six, and blue is eight. The six and eight was working correctly. We're supposed to have less than five ohms. That's more than that, and the glow plug is no good. So that's the easy way to check it, and you can do it on the odd side which is right here, same thing. So, definitely recommend some glow plugs on this too. Connect this back on. So this one's fairly simple. It looks like this hose pipe blew off. It's a new clamp on it. Hose pipe blew off, created this mess, and maybe the water got in the connector on the ICP and got it too. To corrode right there. Some nasty shit. Alright, oh, hold on, guys, I gotta jump down. Alright, got me a new flashlight. It's supposed to be the brightest one they make. HL, pretty bright. $155, I lost my last one. Fucking went through so many flashlights in the last year. I think I bought three so far. Fucking $500 worth of flashlights. So. All right, so a recap. If you guys see that seesawing like that, it's usually resistance or the connector itself or or both, as you can see, it was the 
resistance on the connector, so that'll help out. So, so this one's done. I got another one to do. I can't do them all. On, do a video on all of these. It's just a, to me the simple ones would be easy because these are the most likely uh, ones that come in the shop and the guys that work on these as well. You know, give them a hand. So, well, anyways, that'll be the end of it. And looks like it's a well over 10 minute video. All right, guys. Catch you guys next time.